So this is also my final vegan testimony. I've done 10 days of vegan. I started on Friday, um, July 10th, and today is July 20th. I was technically done yesterday, 10 physical numerical days, um, because I started on the 10th. And, but I went on to the 20th. And I honestly see this as something I could be doing for myself. Like, I, I see this as something, a lifestyle change I can make because a lot of times we think our bodies need certain things. And sometimes our bodies need that reset. I don't, I don't, I haven't gone and weighed myself and I will do that. But I know I've lost weight. My clothes fit looser. My face looks skinnier. I, you could probably look from when I first started this, like, my face looks brighter and my skin looks brighter. I feel lighter. I I shared this on my blog post. Um, when I go to do number one, it looks like water. <laughs> I go do number two multiple times a day. And food is just exciting to me to be able to try new different things and to eat differently. Eat how my body needs it to be. Um, how my body needs to receive food. I don't know if I'm going to all the way give up meat all the way just yet. But I'm going to do another one in September 21 days. And so, I just feel better about myself. I feel better about my life. I'm going to switch out a lot of my meals. Like, I'm definitely considering giving up dairy altogether, except for my great love for cheese. <laughs> but I don't even really feel that I need it. And before, I felt like I needed to eat certain things. I needed to eat certain types of food. I needed to eat meat. I needed to eat certain things but now I know that because of doing this and completing it I can do anything like I had so many times of being tempted Wednesday when my company went out for lunch we went to a barbecue restaurant one I'm, I love dearly this weekend I went to a couple of celebrations like my aunt's birthday and my little cousin going into the military and God blessed me that I was able to find things that I could eat I ate um, potatoes and cantaloupe at the breakfast brunch and then at the going going away dinner I had broccoli asparagus and um a baked potato with olive oil and and salt and pepper and I also ate a salad that I had broccoli edamame um carrots uh spinach um, spring mix and I was able to eat this and was I got full. I actually couldn't finish all of my food. And today, this morning, I had bought some vegan granola bars just on a whim in Marshalls when I was picking up some clothes for my niece. But that was my breakfast this morning because I was able to eat that. I wasn't hungry during church. And then I went and ate broccoli, asparagus, and a baked potato again. And it was amazing today. And then when I got home today, I had this tomato basil marinara sauce and um, some pasta that was, you know, vegan-based pasta. And so I just thank God for giving me creative ways to eat and opening up my mind as to what I can do. I even found some vegan cookies today. For the win that I'm taking to my desk at work, some popcorn that gives me a lot of fiber that are that's vegan for the win. So, you know, it's simple ways that I can switch stuff out and eat according to how my body needs it. And I had a, a protein shake that was vegan approved that I was able to get a lot of protein today. So I just feel better and I feel like I needed this as part of my release process from the 21 Days to Freedom, releasing the, the secrets and the lies of being molested. And I needed it to heal physically and mentally and spiritually. And so I'm just so grateful to God for him encouraging me to do this and putting this on my heart. And that I'm going to definitely do it again in the future. So with that said, I'm done. I look forward to... <laughs> All this good food I'm going to eat on my vacation and this food I'm going to eat on Tuesday before I go to get my stomach back right. But that's it, y'all. Y'all have a good, well, like I said, night, but it's really morning. And y'all be blessed. I encourage you to try something different. God is prompting you to do something. Do it. Step out in faith. You never know how much of a blessing it will be to your life.